Hello, everybody, and welcome back inside the box for another episode of Gumpla Kit Bash with me, Kukamatsu. In this episode, we're going to be trying to figure out the top panel of the foot and then also visualizing how the foot is going to integrate with the bottom of the leg. So let's jump right in. I think it is important every once in a while to put your model back together and get a sense of what you're doing in context with everything else. Um, as you can see, we've made some pretty big feet here. I personally am a fan of the big feet, uh, but I do feel these are a little bit too big proportionally. And as I've mentioned before, the plan is to widen at least the bottom part of the leg. We'll see how far up we have to go. Uh, in addition to that, I have these top pieces that end up going on here. Um, so we'll definitely need to widen those out. We know that we want to fill that space. So that's probably going to be the next job is to to work on those pieces just to get this bottom part working. We need to get all of these panel parts sort of positioned and sorted before we do too much mechanical stuff. But you can see there's gonna be a space in there that's gonna need some kit bash mechanical work um, for sure. And also this is gonna be wider. These are gonna be out a little bit and that may expose some mechanical spaces. Uh, so we probably wanna do those first before we start filling in any of that stuff. The process here, I think, is going to be basically the same as what we did with the pink parts. Just going to have to cut it down the middle. Widen it out. And fill it in. Time once again for some sticky tack. With the pink guys, we put the, the initial supports in the back, but I was thinking on this one of trying something new, something I haven't done before, which is just to glue a piece of uh, this straight across the front and then fill it in. And then, because we have to sand the front anyway, so gluing stuff that, to it is not a big deal. We can just chop it off after. Cut one about that long. I think it might actually be wise to put a second one on there. There's a plane change there. It goes along and then goes up. And when I'm putting something in behind, it'll be nice to have something to block it from pushing to the front. So I'll just put another piece right on there. Now I think we can take a piece of this stuff Get rid of the pink part. We want to just put it there. Okay, now my plan is to fill those gaps a little bit so that when we cut off the top piece, that other piece will be totally uh, secure. I'm gonna go from the bottom to start, just fill in there. Okay, now I can try chopping these things off. Hopefully you can do it without breaking it apart. Just be very gentle. Okay, ready to do some filing here. Okay. 
not too bad for the first round actually I think that some of that feels pretty good there's definitely some stuff in there that I'm gonna need to fill there's a divot there for sure and something over there but uh, as always easier to see when it's gray so I'm gonna set up to paint these guys Okay, took a little bit of back and forth, but I'm pretty happy with the result. I don't think it's perfect, but it's uh, it's what I can live with. That fits in there quite nicely. And that one goes in there. Not bad. And that brings us to the end of episode eight. In the next episode, I think we're going to have to continue trying to work out the panels on the bottom part of the leg to make sure everything is working before we get into the mechanical kit bashing. So that will be saved for a future episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you give me a like down below and subscribe if you want to follow along. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.